So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you four essential tips on how to innovate one of the most used scales in the world. Now, the first thing I want to show you guys is something I like to call instant slides slash double slides. Okay, so we're not doing regular slides, not, you know, not, not this. No, no, we're doing this. Okay, and that sounds kind of weird. So let me put it in context. Let me actually play something. So here we go. You know our basic minor scale, right? So I'm just going to kind of go up it and I'm going to add in these instant slides. It's going to add a lot of cool flavor to it. All right. So right there, you can see it kind of has, I guess, a jazz feeling. But the thing is, it still it has a lot of emotion to it. That's the whole purpose of it, right? That's it. It's all slides. All right. So number two is what I like to call the fancy jazz note. Okay. So now we all know our basic minor scale, right? So now what this note is, it's an added note that is a sharpened first or a flattened second, right? So it's right here. It sounds a little weird on its own, right? That's chromatic. The key is to slide from that note. So you can slide higher or slide lower and you get a really cool feel that adds a lot of emotion. So let me put it an example. Now, third tip I want to show you is another added note. Okay. You might already be familiar with this one. It's technically the note from the harmonic minor scale. However, in order to play the harmonic minor scale, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take away the seventh note of your minor scale and then sharpen it. And then it becomes harmonic minor. What we're going to do is we're going to keep that normal seventh note. We're just going to add on that sharpened one and you get a really, really cool feel that again, adds tons of emotion to your playing. So let me show you an example. All right, so the fourth thing I want to show you is what I like to call big interval skipping. Okay, so it's not always an octave apart. Sometimes it's the first note to the seventh note of the scale, first note to the sixth note of the scale. There's infinite variations, really. Okay, let me show you an example. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to show you an example where I use all four of these at the same time. Hey guys, hope you liked that video. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Be sure to leave a like so I know. Uh, I hope to see some of you guys, you know, using these in your solos, in your riffs, and whatnot. At least try them, you know, they're very fun. Uh, don't just stick to the regular old boring licks that have been around forever. I mean, the people who made them popular are incredible guitarists and will always be known for those, but, you know, do, do something different, you know, try to innovate. So, try using these, alright? I want to give a special thanks to a few of my Patreons, Chris, Christian, Cole, Miguel, Alric, Storm, and Gio. Thank you guys so much as usual. Much love. If you yourself are interested in becoming a Patreon, check out www.patreon.com slash Nick Nocturnal. All right. Now, if you guys like these kind of, I guess, tutorial videos, um, tell me. I need to know. And I'll get more of those coming. Got some collabs coming. Got a lot of cool stuff coming. All right, guys. So, uh, so be on watch, my friends. Yeah.